An object moving at a speed of 2 meters per second slides from point A to point B. What is its speed at point B? Vertical position of point A is 0 meters above the zero level. Assume no friction, no air resistance, ignore presence of any non-conservative forces like friction. In the absence of friction, total mechanical energy is conserved. So you say kinetic energy at the start plus potential energy at the start equals kinetic energy at B plus potential energy at B. Kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A equals kinetic energy at B plus potential energy at B. Let us assume that the zero is at the position of the center of mass. So you have kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A equals kinetic energy at B plus potential energy at B. Potential energy at A and B are the same. Potential energy at B and A are the same. Why? They are at the same height. So kinetic energy at A plus, let's assume that potential energy at A equals potential energy at B and that is equal to potential energy. So kinetic energy at A plus PE equals kinetic energy at B plus PE. PE on both sides, so we can get rid of that, and so we get what? Kinetic energy at A equals kinetic energy at B. The mass is the same, so what does that mean? The speed has to be the same. What is the stipulation? That the object slides from point A to point B. Speed at point A equals 2 meters per second. It has non-zero kinetic energy at point A. Non-zero energy due to motion at the start. Vertical position of point A is 0 meters above the zero level. It has zero potential energy at the start. Speed at point B is what we are looking for. Vertical position of point B is equal to zero. So both points A and B are at the same zero level. You say total mechanical energy is conserved. So you say kinetic energy plus potential energy at point A equals kinetic energy plus potential energy at point B. Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Potential energy is mgh. So mva squared divided by 2 plus mgha equals mvb squared divided by 2 plus mghb. Multiply both sides by 2. Divide both sides by mass and we get this expression. And into that expression, we substitute. We know that starting speed is 2 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity, magnitude is 9.8. Height of point A is 0. Speed at B is what we are looking for. Acceleration due to gravity, magnitude is 9.8. It is at 0 height. Again, speed at B squared plus 2 times 9.8 times zero. So this whole thing goes to zero. This whole thing goes to zero. This whole thing goes to zero. So what are we left with? We are left with two squared and VB squared. So you get two squared, which is four, and four is equal to VB squared. Take square root on both sides and we get two. And what is the unit? Meters per second. So two meters per second. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.